Hello guys, welcome to the first thermodynamic video. I hope this series will help you understand and enjoy thermodynamics. So, what is thermodynamics and what is it used for? In short, thermodynamics is the study of movement or transfer of heat. It plays a crucial role in everything involving heat, work and energy. Thermodynamics is actually everywhere, we just don't see it. For example, the refrigeration cycle which involves a closed circuit that moves heat from one area to another, creating a cold space we call a refrigerator. And the power cycles, used to produce electricity, like the Rankine and Carnot cycle. In this video, you will get an introduction to thermodynamics and thermodynamic properties. Let's look at the thermodynamic properties. This includes the universe, the system, the surroundings, and the boundary. These properties help us describe and understand our process or problem. The universe represents all measured space. The system is the region in which we are interested. You can identify it since it contains the substance of interest. The surroundings are everything around the system. The surroundings can be affected by the system and vice versa. The boundary is a separation between the system and the surroundings. There are other properties which we use to describe our system and the state in which our system is. These can be classified as being extensive or intensive. Extensive properties are properties that depend on the size of the system, while intensive properties do not depend on the size of the system. To test whether a property is intensive or extensive, you can ask yourself, will the property change if I change the size of the system? If yes, this will be an extensive property. If no, it is an intensive property. Examples of extensive properties are volume and mass, and intensive properties are temperature, pressure, and specific volume, which is just volume per mass. So let's say you have a piston cylinder assembly. This is your piston. Inside it is the substance of interest. We select this part, the red, to be the boundary, which would make everything inside it the system, and everything around it, the surroundings. Then, based on your type of process, you can add heat to your system from the surroundings, which would change the intensive and extensive properties. It can increase temperature, increase volume or pressure, or your system can lose heat. In other words, from system to surrounding, which would again change some of your properties. But all of this depends on what type of system you have. There are three types of systems, open, closed, and isolated. Closed systems have no mass flow, but has energy flow. Secondly is the open system, which has mass flow and energy flow. And lastly, you have your isolated system, which has no mass flow and no energy flow. And that is a full introduction to the thermodynamic systems and how to describe them. Let's look at some examples. Let's say you have a kettle boiling. Is it an open, closed or isolated system? If it is an open system, there would be energy and mass flow. If it is a closed system, there would be energy flow, but no mass flow. If it is an isolated system, there would be no mass and no energy flow. In this example, there is mass flow, since steam is coming out of the kettle, as well as energy flow, since heat is supplied by the power of the kettle. Since there are mass and energy transfer, this can be classified as an open system. To be more specific, this is a transient open system, which just means the amount of substance going in is not the same as the amount coming out, but more on that later. Now, let's say you pour the boiling water into a cup and put a lid on it. What system is it then? Since no steam escapes due to the lid, but energy is still being transferred because the cup will obviously eventually cool down, this can be classified as a closed system. Now, instead of pouring the boiling water into a cup, we pour it into a well-insulated flask. What system is it then? Well, since there is no steam escaping and no heat transfer, this is an isolated system. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video where we will expand on these ideas a bit more and start with calculations.